Mr. Chairman, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you tonight in my red star chiffon evening gown, <laughs> my face softly made up and my fair hair gently waved. <laughs> the Iron Lady of the Western World. <laughs> Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. And to all the British people, howsoever they voted, may I say this, now that the election is over, may we get together and strive to serve and strengthen the country of which we are so proud to be a part. To those waiting with bated breath for that favorite media catchphrase, the U-turn, I have only one thing to say. You turn if you want to. <laughs> the ladies not for turning. <laughs> the commander of the operation has sent the following message. Be pleased to inform Her Majesty that the White Ensign flies alongside the Union Jack in South Georgia. God save the Queen. What happens next? What is the not? Thank you very much. Just your rejoice at that news and congratulate our forces and the Marines. Are we going Good to night, declare war on Thank you very much. Yes, the Commission does want to increase its powers. Yes, it is a non-elected body, and I do not want the Commission to increase its powers against this House. So, of course, we are differing. Of course, the Chairman or the President of the Commission, Mr. Delors, said at press conference the other day that he wanted the European Parliament to be the democratic body of the community, he wanted the Commission to be the executive, and he wanted the Council of Ministers to be the Senate. No! 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 Because we on this side have never flinched from difficult decisions, that this House and this country can have confidence in this government today. Yeah. Yeah.